movie theater popcorn and refreshments. It's time for the Skinner Auto Group's road trip. We stop in at Skinner Sales in Richfield Springs, where Dan LaBarge always greets us with a smile. The Challenger catches the cameraman's eye, but too late, it's sold. We're driving in the new 2009 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. February's a great time to buy with employee pricing, huge discounts, and 0% financing. This week, we head to the village of Bridgewater, located at the junctions of routes 20 and 8. With no major bridge or water to be found, some people believe it was named for Bridgewater in England, as many of its early settlers were English. Well, it was an, primarily an agricultural community. The hops were the main um, industry when it first started. Uh, you know, cattle, farming, transport of uh, produce and hogs and cattle and cheese was a big thing. The Palmer's Cheese Factory, there was a tailor, there was, um, there was academy and um, we boast uh, Hamilton College's founder's brother, Reverend Samuel Kirkland, lived on the property adjacent to my husband's family's farm. From east, west, south, and from Utica, it was a, there was a major railway station. Stagecoaches came, brought mail twice a week. Um, it was a real, it was centrally located in a sense from all directions to a real transport route. This is what might be called a perfect invention. The reason for that being it has never been improved upon since it was first invented. And where was it invented? But right here in Bridgewater, New York by Dr. Babcock. It determines the milk fat content and that's how farmers are paid according to that standard. Dr. Babcock was also important for another reason. He never ever had this machine patented. The reason for that being uh, so other people could take advantage of it, make a living off of it, and he could have made millions of dollars probably, but didn't. He felt it was more important to, uh, to help out humanity. And his sons, the kings and the silvers, in the rivers they run. I'm standing in the world famous hot fields of Bridgewater, New York, and behind me is a truly rare building. Most hot kilns are wood and they're square. This one is round and it's made completely of cobblestone. The railroad connected small towns to the world. The trains operating through the Unadilla Valley carried produce and simple folks, along with the well-to-do in their own private cars. Rich or poor, the train came to a stop here at the Bridgewater Train Depot. If you are a railroad buff, hidden away here in Bridgewater, there is a Union Station, much like the one in Utica, Union Station. What that means is that there are two railroads that come together here. In this case, it was the DLMW and the Unadilla. This is home to the Bridgewater Historical Society. They meet here on a fairly regular basis, but if you'd like to come inside and look at it from the inside, call Don or Earl, and they'll make arrangements. I'm gonna watch the sunset in the desert Be the prettiest I'll ever see Tomorrow I'll be yonder Ride out to the Vegas, wasting time and money in some old worn out slot machine. Not no looking in the rear view, I see silence. The Western Star Masonic Lodge is one of the oldest in New York State, and one of the few to have retained its charter through the anti Masonic period of the early 1830s. If you're like me and have driven by the intersection of Route 20 and Route 8, You've noticed the Masonic building there. It has been in existence since 1816, but what you might not know is that originally it was across the street on the north side of Route 20, and they moved it from that side of the street with horses to where it is presently, and this is one big building. So when you come here the next time and take a look at it, think about that for a moment. If you 
like old-fashioned auctions, then mark your calendar for March 7th at 11 o'clock in the morning. Head down here to Bridgewater to Eagle's Rest and be treated to a really, really old-fashioned auction. If you're looking for custom-made flooring, counters, cabinets, molding, you can come here to the little tiny hamlet of Bridgewater and find a place that can provide you with them. It's uh, naughty by nature. No, naughty by nature. And uh, boy, some beautiful, beautiful work inside here. The craftsman is David Dew. Uh, I would call him, though, more of an artisan. And he's a native boy right here from the town of Bridgewater. The thought of you and the things that you do I keep in my pocket like a charm I keep in a locket Wafting through the cold air is the irresistible smell coming from the grill at Patty's Pub. We follow the aroma inside and find most of Bridgewater doing the same. We were driving through Bridgewater and we saw a place called Patty's Pub well, thinking that it had to be an Irish place where you dropped in. Turns out, though, that Patty's not Irish. She called herself Heinz 57 Variety. But I'll tell you one thing, her food here is awfully good. We had a half-pound hamburger. I had a cheeseburger, actually, and it was absolutely fantastic. I hear this place is really hopping on Friday nights for the fish fry. I know for sure it's going to be hopping on St. Patrick's Day. Patty invites you to come down here today for breakfast or for a lunch, and if you do, if you order one entree, she's going to give you the second one half price. How's that for Irish hospitality? Usually in the month of February, kids have their skateboards stowed away in a shed somewhere, waiting for the summer weather. Not in Bridgewater. Here in the former Bridgewater School is the Bridgewater School Skate Park. Hi, this is the former Bridgewater Central School. It started as a school in 1931. Uh, in 1970, it was turned into an elementary school when the school district merged into the Mount Markham School District. Uh, I bought it four years ago and we've turned it into a multi-use building. We have an antique center, a country home store and gift shop, this indoor skateboard park right now, and a cafe. So Brendan, tell me, what are a couple of the things you're doing here? What are they called? Um, like rack of fakies, um, pop shuffets, kick flips, and manuals, basically. And what do they have for an old guy like myself? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling round. 